Hey there guys, Roy from Apotheca Marketing. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to easily develop a dashboard in Looker Studio using GA4 data that can look at all of your campaigns without having to go in and tweak filters and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at how to do it real quick. All right, so here we have an example dashboard uh, similar to ones we've looked at in the past, but this one is taking a look at common metrics that you would have across different marketing channels, right? So you've got things like revenue and the number of transactions and average order size and conversion rate, which this is a really bad conversion rate, um, users, that type of thing. So all of the key metrics that you'd want to be keeping a look on on a regular basis for, you know, a typical retail site. It uh, doesn't dive into a lot of details, but gives you those kind of things. So new users, active user sessions, all that kind of stuff. In Looker Studio, one of the problems is, is that if I were to create this individually and create like, for instance, a paid search dashboard, I would have to go into this card, this revenue card and create a filter that then filtered on paid search or something else. I would have to come in, create a filter, uh, say by medium and contains and then like CPC. Um, I would have to do that and create a filter for each marketing channel in a separate dashboard for each channel that would want to do. So I'd have to go in and create this filter and then apply it to each of these data cards. And that's obviously very time consuming. So an easier way to do that is with this. This is a uh, control that looks at all of the different marketing channels. So I'm gonna delete this and show you how we got there. So this is also a control by date. And so the controls are added up here. So I've created all of this information, all these widgets, just using general revenue numbers in this case, transactions in this case, and then a calculated field for conversion rate. And it just looks at transactions and sessions. So it's not looking at any actual, you know, channel data. All right. So to speed up the process of creating this dashboard where we can look at it by channels, what we're going to do is add a control, much like the date control up here we're going to add a control that looks at the marketing channels. So we're going to create a drop down list. Pop it in there. Uh, we don't want the control field to be that we want it to be the default channel group. So this is the session default channel group, uh, within Google. So, This will show you the default marketing channels that Google is assigning based on how you have it set up. So now you can actually tell it to show total users or show the values. You don't have to have those. You can turn those off and that way it's not there. Um, you can then create this to be, tell this to be a different name. So you can say uh, channel. Okay. And then just like any other uh, element on the page, you can style this. So you can sell it, tell it to be a larger font. Okay. And so you can see when now when you go back to, to this data within this view, it currently has everything selected. So say I only want to look at paid search, I can deselect these. There's probably a quicker way to do that. Um, and then it will populate the fields based on that channel. And we can do the same for organic. And as you can tell, sometimes it takes a little while for this to populate. In this case, they don't have anything from organic. That's why you're seeing no data. So let's take a, look at paid search and organic and direct. So you can see you can combine any number of channels, particularly if they're related. Um, and then that will 
show you the metrics for that, the graphs. Um, the one caveat here is that for something like paid search, Google ads, it's not going to pull in the cost data for you. Um, unless you create a field for cost, that's just blank for all of the other um, metrics, but that could be a little confusing. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but this will give you a high um, view look at the channel that you're interested in. So if you are, you know, or have an executive who just wants to see what kind of revenue paid search brought in, how many transactions, what the conversion rate was, they can do that via a dropdown. So the control um, function within Looker Studio is super handy and there's a lot of other types of controls that you can have. You could create this, for instance, instead of a dropdown, you could do things like check boxes. Obviously we have the date control. You can do input boxes to do like a search, that kind of thing. So a lot of other functionality that you can get, but one of the most common um, things that we look for that takes a lot of time is these dashboards, these quick dashboards where they just want to see certain channel data. And this is an easy way to do it without having to build individual filters in each of the um, widgets on the page. So hopefully this was helpful. If so, give us a like, subscribe. We're going to keep exploring Looker Studio as the data throttling <laughs> lets us with GA4. It's super frustrating. And if you're running into the same problems, let us know how you're handling it. Uh, we're exploring different options with data or BigQuery and um, extracted data and stuff like that. So we'll be coming back with some tips about that in the future. But in the meantime, let us know how you're using Looker Studio and GA4. If there's stuff that you would like to see, leave it in the comments and we'll talk to you later.